So today we're going to replace the mono valve assembly on my 300 TD Mercedes. Well, chances are if you've got a 300D, 300TD, you have probably dealt with mono valve issues. It is a very common issue on these cars, unfortunately. And I have replaced cartridges, I have rebuilt cartridges, I have swapped magnetic coils. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plug this one real quick and get this one ready to come out. But I've done all that. And to be honest, I'm tired of messing with mono valves. And so we're going to fix that by replacing it. I bought the Climate Design Works mono valve replacement valve. Or pre they call it a premium replacement heater control valve for Bosch mono valve systems. It's part number BV1.0 and it's for W123 Mercedes. Now, I've used some of Climate Design Works products before. I've been extremely happy with their stuff. I am not sponsored by them. I did not get a discount on this. I just purchased it from their website. They didn't reach out to me. This is all me. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them at all, uh, but I do like them. So, this is it, and what it does is it replaces it with an actual elect electric um, valve. And to me, this is a awesome product. So we're going to put this in. This should give us reliable heat without having to ever mess with mono valve cartridges ever again. So simple swap. We're going to go through it real quick. We'll do it real time. We're going to pull this out of the way, give ourselves some more room. And I'm going to go ahead and undo my two clamps. I've already sprayed them. And I've got my car parked. So we're undoing our two clamps. And I, like I said, I sprayed them. Um, I got the car parked with the front passenger wheel in a small little ditch. And I like to do that whenever I'm working on mono valve. That's how, that's, that's how often I work on mono valves on these things. Um, you know, I'm just tired of messing with it. So... Uh, what that does though is it gets the mono valve at the highest possible point in the cooling system to help eliminate um, coolant loss. Now, one thing they say on this is um, on diesel models that you need to replenish coolant through the upper radiator hose in addition to the res reservoir. They say that's to facilitate bleeding and prevent in in engine overheating on initial operation. Uh, since I'm not draining, since I'm going to lose minimal amounts of coolant by doing it like this, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, but do as I say and do as they say, not as I do. So definitely would be a good design to follow through with that. I'm guessing, you know, maybe it doesn't um, bleed air out as easily, maybe as the original mono valve. I really don't know on that. If y'all know, if y'all dealt with that before, let me know. So we're just gonna pop this off real quick. Actually, before we do that, let's pull our hoses off. Yeah, these hoses can get stuck over time. Let me get our screwdriver in here to kind of help break seal. Minimal coolant loss there. minimal cooling loss like that. I don't think that's enough to cause a air bubble, but if you were doing a 
whole coolant flush or maybe if it was sitting level maybe it would be it's just two 10 millimeter bolts that hold it on top there's the assembly out if we compare it I mean they are the same. A little bit shorter, but hose should fit no problem. Well, of course. This, uh, push this through. So these are just little rubber grommets. hold the bottom of the grommet as we start these. We're gonna tighten these down. Don't over torque, just snug them up. Evenly. Shove our bottom hose on. I'm sorry if I'm blocking your way. Come over from this side. Okay, tighten that down. And just tighten the clamp down. Bottom clamp. Here. And we just we lose maybe two cups or less of coolant. that and it kind of keeps it out of the way of the dipstick. Double check the bottom clamp. It is tight. That's it. So I'm gonna top off the coolant, and then I'll fill y'all in on how it works. So what I found is this hose uh, was not sealing well after doing this. It's it's just, it's had it. Um, I don't think it would have busted or burst, but it's just not 
not sealing well after being undone and can't find a replacement for it. Looks like it's no longer available. So what I came up with was this Deco part number 70646. Don't know what it fits, but it doesn't have the little kink to the side. It's more of a straight shot, but I think we can make this thing work. And this end is larger than this end, so you can't just get a 90. This one's a 90 with a larger end and a smaller end. I think this was three quarter and five eighths. We'll see if that see if that works. It's very close, so we'll see. So you can see down there, our hose worked perfect. So that is definitely a good replacement hose for this bottom mono valve hose. And as you can see, everything looks a little dirty because I actually installed this thing in the spring of this year and we are now in the fall. So I wanted to thoroughly test this thing before I put this video out. And so that's what we've done. Uh, I had good reliable heat through the spring. I had good AC through the uh, summer with no issues with you know heat coming on during the summer or anything like that it worked great for that and now we're in the fall and I've got good reliable heat now in the fall so big thumbs up to Climate Design Works I am not affiliated with them in any sort of way I don't make a commission or anything but I will put a link in the description like I said I don't get anything from that I'm just promoting them because I am very happy with this and uh, I would like to see their company succeed because I very much enjoy this monoval assembly and uh, as well I have their uh, parallel flow condenser which works great in the summer. So I am now, I feel like I'm upgraded for good summer operation and good winter operation. And my climate control on this thing just works awesome. Very happy with the way it performs. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if y'all have tried this mono valve replacement or if you've tried some other, you know, way of redoing the mono valve, you know, whether it be with some other kind of uh, heater valve from some other vehicle manual control valve i've seen that as well you know just a ball valve uh let me know what y'all have had luck with uh be interested to know and then uh yeah hit that like button and you know if you're not subscribed uh youtube is telling me that like 98 percent of y'all are not subscribed so hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost a thing but it helps my channel out and hit that like button because it really helps these videos get uh, promoted and shared. That really helps me out. So again, thanks for watching.